in New York. And, you know, the, the eyes that Lucian had for comedy was supposed to be the ultimate eyes for talent. If Lucian gave you a stamp of approval, you had something. Yeah. This is what was going around. And as a young comedian, I'm in New York. I'm trying to get into these comedy clubs. Like, this is... This is it. This yeah. is this is what this is what it's about. I'm here. Oh my god! Like yo, I'm starting to get closer. I'm I'm in the city. Uh -huh. Whoa, whoa! Major step. Major major win. Come on, Kev. We getting there. Yeah. Um, I land an audition for the comic strip and for Lucian. Like there were different levels of the audition. You could audition for Lucian's people, and then Lucian's people would mm -hmm. say, okay, now Lucian can come see you. This is somebody he should see. So Lucian didn't have to look at everybody. So yeah. you could go through a, a, a filter, pretty much. Uh, I skipped that, because I came highly recommended mm -hmm. from some people, from some friends. They set up a time for Lucian to go to see me. I'm nervous. This is a big day, but I'm ready. I get on stage. I kill. Now, my material wasn't great back then. I mean, this is the beginning. Yeah. I'm green, so I'm not talking about much. But I have a good set. Lucian calls me off the stage, calls me to come in his office. This is where he talks to the comedian at the shows. And he tells me without any pause, hesitation, without any... <laughs> uh, there was no warm-up. There was no preparation for what he was about to say. He goes... I don't think comedy is for you. Wow. That's the first start. That's how it started. That's how it started. I don't think comedy is for you. I think that you should find something else. I think that you should really look into doing something else because this isn't. This isn't it. Yeah. Straight face. I'm not going to use you at my club. No. Not you. Thank you. Oh, oh bro. Sorry, that's... That's it. That's what. That's what. Uh. So there's no laugh after that. That's that's you mean that. That's what you're saying. Thank you. And to get up, go out as often. Biggest punch in the stomach. Wow. Everybody builds this stigma as what you need along your way. Everybody always has something. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to make it, hey, you want to do radio. Let me tell you something. You're not going to ever make it if X, Y, and Z don't give you the sign of approval. If he give you a blessing, you out there. Yeah. You know. Hey man, look, you got a book. Let me tell you something. If Oprah don't say nothing about that book, that book ain't gonna make it. Okay? Not to say that Oprah's word isn't powerful because it is, yeah. but everybody doesn't need that. Everybody's not supposed to go the same ways or follow the same pattern. And that's what people get locked into. Yeah. And I was locked into that in the beginning. Yeah. I wanted the approval of certain comedians, of certain comedy club owners, of certain managers to come and see me, but that wasn't for me. That wasn't my path. So when I understood that, it was about trying to just simply become the best version of me possible yeah. and create my own path. Uh -huh. How do I create my own path? Mm -hmm. How do people jump on my path? How do I do that? Yeah. Oh, Kevin, you know what you do? Just keep doing what you're doing, and eventually they'll come. Everybody's going to have to catch up with you eventually yeah. if you work hard and you do what you're supposed to. And in this book, I talk about that. I talk about staying true to my journey mm -hmm. and my beliefs and my goals mm -hmm. and saying, you know what? That thousand, the thousand no's that I took prepared me for the one yes. Because mm -hmm. when I heard that one yes, I got addicted. Yeah. I don't have to go back to no's. I heard yes one time. Oh, I'm about to make these match up. I'm going to get as many yeses as I had no's. Yeah. It's about, to, it's about to shift full circuit. Yeah. But it's information. It's valuable information. Yeah. Don't give up on 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 the shit you control man and and here's a crazy thing about me writing a book i realized that we're living a book yeah like your life is a book you got chapters in your life and the reason why i say life lessons because each chapter there should be a lesson after that chapter in your life mm -hmm. if something bad happened what did you learn from that bad mistake and how did you improve on that to move on to the next chapter in your life and be better ultimately however your book ends which is your life you you dictate and you determine that. Mm -hmm. So if it ends bad, that means that you were content with the bad that was going along the way in the chapters. If it ends good, you did that. My dad is going to end good simply because he made his mistakes. He was on drugs, put him in rehab, got cleaned up, but now he's trying to be the best grandfather that he possibly can. Mm -hmm. I have no ill will and 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 desire for my dad to to think about the mistakes he's made. Instead, I take care of my dad. Here's your house. Here's your car. Mm -hmm. Go out with a bang. So when it's all said and done, your life is closed with a dope chapter. 
Yeah. You can say that I made my mistakes, but I survived them. Yeah. Look how it ended. Mm -hmm. You can say that you got to see your son be where he is now. You can say that your son is the father that he is to his kids because of the mistakes that you made. Mm -hmm. So there's positives and the negatives. You got to be smart enough to find that and flip that. As my career started to grow, my schedule was relentless. I was working 14 hour days, six days a week. I was putting a toll on my body. And I got a good look at myself on camera one day. And I thought to myself, people are paying money to see me. If I'm nowhere near the top of my game, then I'm cheating those that support me the most. So I said, why not be the best version of myself possible? I wanted to do it the right way. I said, I want to get somebody that I can grow with somebody that can make me stay true to a schedule so I can see results. 365 days a year, let's adapt to eating right, living better. Let's change this body style. At the end of the day, my body should never be comfortable. If I don't have to sit down at the end of our workout, if I don't need a moment, if I'm not breathing as hard as I can, if my chest isn't hurting for a second, then you didn't do your job today. I want to make other people better. I don't like being great by myself. I want people to be great with me. With that being said, let me tell you the beauty of what I'm doing right now. I'm doing this to simply bring people of all races, shapes, sizes together, and show people that as a unit, as a union, we can not only get along, but we can love, we can live, we can laugh, we can inspire, we can motivate, we can change the world. It starts with stuff like this. You guys don't realize the impact that we're having. This move with heart thing, it's something that started off small that is eventually growing to a world dominating platform. I'm doing this on an international level. On an international level. So, today, I'm telling people, this ain't a race. It's not about who finishes first and who finishes last. It's about us finishing together. I do not leave until everybody has finished. My day up. I got a lot of stuff. Okay, I got a show tonight. Don't take all day coming across that finish line. Because I'm waiting on you. If you see somebody struggling, tap them on the back, tell them to finish, tell them that you're there with them. We're here to help each other, man. At the end of the day, we start this group, we finish this group. Answer them. Let's make the day epic. Let's kick the fuck.